Good morning, everyone. Matt, back again. Sunday morning, football Sunday, Packers Sunday. Looking at uh, the CFG for part two because it's such a deep envelope generator. We gotta we gotta look at it twice, and uh, uh, we're a few days away from Christmas, so the wife and child are upstairs in the kitchen making Christmas cookies. So if you hear like a blender or something, it's not an extra oscillator. It's just it's just them supplying treats. Anywho, the CFG, I looked at it in the last tutorial, and then this one I want to show a different example of it because it is real deep, and there's multiple configurations. So let's just do the 4x1 as we heard the first time. Now, this one is routed uh, with a gate message to trigger gate 1, okay? And it's just a simple voicing from a DWG into the LPG from the BBC whatever. The thing you want to note here is that instead of coming out of the individual envelopes, if you will, the, the discrete channels, I'm coming out of all and into mod A. So we're, we're basically going to trigger this. The reason for all will make sense in a second. All is going to combine them all. And then you can actually run them kind of like in series, which is going to give you unique uh, kind of percussive possibilities. So check this out. I'm going to hit one note. Right? Nothing happened. Okay. So, what I want to do here is change the configuration. And <laughs> you can hear it doing crazy stuff. Let's do one by four, meaning it's going to, one to two to three to four is going to bounce in this in this mode. I've got the time set a little different, a little slow attacks, different, different falls, and I hit one note. So right away you can see the potential here is that we can create varying rhythmic uh, patterns, basically. Imagine it very much like how um, Massive's performer, you know, with the different envelope curves over a 16-step sequencer is going to kind of react. Except this one's a lot more flexible, and you just turn knobs and tweak it and, and get loose with it. So well, instead of it triggering with the keyboard, I'm just going to go ahead and put this into cycle mode. And that way it'll play through. And so I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm going to change some of the positions and you can kind of hear how you can tweak a simple sound uh, into new patterns. What I want you to also keep in mind here is the level. The level doesn't have an effect when you come out of each individual um, channel. But when it's all, now you can vary the level and kind of create these more dynamic patterns, much like a velocity on a keyboard would be or something. So here we go. Cycling, we'll just play the pitch. I can also speed it up. So keep in mind too, the amount of the level is also going to affect how far this modulation jumps up, which is triggering the low pass gate to open it up. So right away, really unique rhythmic type stuff. If we were to slow this down immensely, we could kind of get this nice long droney type thing probably happening over time. Right? 
very slick. So really pow powerful. Now you can do multiple configurations too. It's not just the one by four. Uh, the other thing I want to show off here too, check this out. So you have different modes. This is like one shot more or less. This is like an AD attack decay. If I hit it again, it's going to be more like an ADSR. Right? And then turning this on will just cycle it. So right away you can get also unique rhythmic uh, possibilities just by putting all these different ones in the cycle and seeing what happens. You never know. So really unique. And really quickly, you'll notice too, I've got a delay and a reverb here. I just threw in the new macro switches. We looked at the macro knobs in the last one. Uh, macro switches is really cool. If I go in, you can see you can bring it in. And it's just a simple way sometimes to turn on like an effect on or off or a modulation source on or off. Uh, very nice. So we can go in, route those to a modulation input. And you see they're just on A here. And I've set an amount, how high I want it to go. And this is just on the mix of the delay and the reverb. So if I want delay on, turn it on. If I want reverb on, turn it on. And easy as that. And of course, we can just MIDI learn knees to a knob. Turn them on and off as we need. So combine those. Pretty darn cool.